Hi, my name is Alert Saxena, and I am the program director for Yale Himalaya Initiative. I am also the lecturer for Himalayan Diversity's course that is taught at the School of Forestry and Environmental Studies. Today, we are going to learn a little bit about religion and ecology, and especially the work that is happening in, Himalayan, uh, in the Himalayan region. Today, we have uh, Kempo Karma Tekyo, who has kindly agreed to join us to talk about the work that he's been doing in the Himalayas. He has been sent to the US by His Holiness the 17th Karmapa. Well, welcome, Kempo. Thank you. So could you uh, tell us a little bit about yourself? OK. <clears throat> Good evening. Namaste. Namaste. Uh, my name is uh, Kembo Kamatenkyo, and I was uh, born in uh, Nepal. It's called Nishang Manang. It's the border of a little bit Tibet in Nepal. Mm -hmm. So I was born very Himalayan side. So I am very love to hear this Himalayan pro program. Great. Um, Tell us about um, about how you what did you do growing up and what kind of studies did you do? Okay. Uh, actually, my father was very good practice about the Tibetan Buddhism, is Mahayana Buddhism. Mm -hmm. So that's why I have a very lucky to learn uh, about a little bit. Buddhism when I was child in my village mm -hmm. and because our country is Hinduism so that's why I learned something from the Hinduism and temple I love mm -hmm. too. Then when I was uh, seven years old then I went to Pokhara mm -hmm. that's a very beautiful place Himalaya so I become a monk in there three years. Okay. Then after that, I moved to India, mm -hmm. in Sikkim. There's the His Holiness Sister Kamapa's very beautiful monastery and uh, university, mm -hmm. and also a school mm -hmm. and meditation center. So I learned their monastery, how do we do the practice and music, prayer, puja. Mm -hmm. Then after that, I joined the university, mm -hmm. so 11 years course. Mm -hmm. So I finished. Uh, that course because our university is the under of the Sanskrit Bishop Vidalaya in Varanasi. Oh, okay. So that's why I'm very lucky. I learned Tibetan Buddhism, like a Mul Shastra mm -hmm. and Samprata Shastra, mm -hmm. and Tibetan logic and grammar. And we learn, we have to learn in Sanskrit. In the, uh -huh. the English we can choose if you want to learn. English subject or Hindu, English Hindi. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's why I got a very good opportunity to learn Buddhism in uh, His Holiness Kamapa's uh, monastery. That's great. Um, and when did you shift to uh, Dharamshala? They went to some uh, senior student from the Avokaitu University from different Mm -hmm. uh, site. Mm -hmm. So I'm very lucky. I select from the Rumdik University, we call Karma Sri Nalanda mm -hmm. University. So me and we four monks, total five, we came to from Karma Sri Nalanda Institute to the Dharamsala. Mm -hmm. And some different university monks, two or four, five, came to in His Holiness Place. Mm -hmm. Then I live in Dharamsala. Mm -hmm. Where his holiness of the Kamaba live in that monastery we call Gyuto Tantra University. Mm -hmm. So until now I live in there mm -hmm. 10 or 11, almost 11 years. Mm -hmm. Then after that we have a very beautiful monastery in Woodstock, mm -hmm. the KDD. It, it was found 1975. Okay. The founder is his holiness assistant mm Kamaba, -hmm. and we have a very beautiful monastery, same like a uh, Tibet Monastery. Mm -hmm. I came in here this last July. Tell us a little bit more about uh, the Koryu program. So this is very nice uh, question to me, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Because uh, our life is very short, you know, mm -hmm. and also our time is very fast. Mm -hmm. Then I have to choose which life is best for me, you know. It's mm -hmm. very difficult for me. 
but I choose the Hmong, you know. And the Hmong life is not easy because we have to do so many things we have to do, we have to don't do, we have mm -hmm. so many, mm -hmm. you know, ethics. Mm -hmm. Actually, it is good for us, mm -hmm. but 21th century is very difficult to manage it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I already choose to be a simple practice monk. Mm -hmm. So, and my practice, Buddhism in most of the point is bodhicitta, you know. Mm -hmm. Bodhicitta means it will point warm heart, mm -hmm. you know. So that's why we have so many teachings in the Tibetan book and also composed by the Indian master. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it's a little bit difficult for me to touch in my, in my heart, you know. Mm -hmm. But when I I was in Dharamsala and all the time, it's only somebody come up but focus on the environment things. Mm -hmm. So I learned some background, some news mm -hmm. from his teaching. Mm -hmm. Then he called all the, our monastery, every monk, five, five, to join the teaching about mm -hmm. the Buddhism and environment, mm -hmm. and we give a walk. He give a workshop to us. Okay. And I am very lucky because I was there, you know. Mm -hmm. So I joined every workshop. Mm -hmm. So the, it is very touching with me, you know, mm -hmm. because when I practice the my bodhicitta, it's only going the only small small part, you know. Mm -hmm. But when I practice the environment things, mm -hmm. automatically, you know, I do something. Few minute, but mm -hmm. it help very big, you know. Mm -hmm. And also, it's very easy to t touching mm -hmm. to reality practice. How do we make a warm heart? How do we improve mm -hmm. our practice bodhicitta mm -hmm. by the environment? Mm -hmm. So that's why. And also, His Holiness Buddha Kama, but he has very good idea to talk about the environment with the, our dharma practice. Mm -hmm. Same way. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's very easy to me. Mm -hmm. So that's why then from Bhutan, from Nepal, from India, we have a Kaikyu monastery and Sheta, mm -hmm. we call Sheta University. Mm -hmm. Every monk can be there. Mm -hmm. So we have a, we got a teaching from His Holiness when come about. And also we got a, some workshop, some idea about the you know environment from the India our, who has very good knowledge mm -hmm. about the environment, this thing, and mm -hmm. also Miss Dikila, she did the uh, lead mm -hmm. for this kind of program. Mm -hmm. So all the monks, they know the so much idea mm -hmm. to deep with mm -hmm. the, you know, now the situation in the 21st century in this world. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's become a more and more, you know, uh, uh, practice way. Mm -hmm. So that's a lot of monks and our nuns are very deep connection with the environment. Mm -hmm. So that's why someone has give our, our name Koryuk. Koryuk is in Tibetan word, but it means environment, how do we protect, you know. So that's why we have uh, uh, some staff mm -hmm. for the lead, you know. Mm -hmm. In Nepal, we have lead from the old monastery. Every week we have a uh, mm, practice reality on the field mm -hmm. to the, how do we help, how do we give uh, this kind of um, issue to the, our student and our neighbor like that. Mm -hmm. And once a month, we all gathering to clean, to protect, to plan mm -hmm. everywhere like that. Right. So that's what we have, uh, in Nepal, we have uh, some monks or nuns mm -hmm. staff for the Koyu, mm -hmm. some India, some Buddhist, we have a Koyu. Mm -hmm. and for me, I'm the one <laughs> coordinator to the right. this Koyu. Right. So I'm very happy with, uh, you know, become a Koryu staff. Actually, in our Bhutan, Nepal, India, our Kaiju lineage, we have uh, participated one of our big uh, old peace prayer. We call Kaiju Mung. That time we have 140 something monastery gathering. Mm -hmm. But in the workshop about the Koryu, mm -hmm. we start a little bit slowly, slowly, you know, to give all the monastery participate there. So first we start that 25 monastery because we only invite slowly, slowly, you know. So that until now, the last year, we have a 50 something uh, monastery mm -hmm. to gathering, to participate. Mm -hmm. And also they, when they come to the, our workshop, what they did mm -hmm. in that one last year.
-hmm. They bring the all the you know picture and all the you know the report mm -hmm. to share with us what is the best right. they did and what is the problem when they do the reality mm -hmm. practice about the environment. Mm -hmm. Then they will share and we will manage like that. Mm -hmm. But in the workshop time, because most of the monks and nuns are only focusing on the religion, you know. Yeah. So that's a way, how do we give a practice of the uh, environment, we mm -hmm. use the Buddhist training to the uh, environment. Mm -hmm. So that's why people easy to mm -hmm. involve to the environment, things one. Mm -hmm. And second thing, now very young generation people, they believe the scientists, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's why we use the environment to the Buddhism practice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. How how difficult or how easy mm -hmm. was it for you uh, in the workshops for the Koryuk movement mm -hmm. to involve um, science with religion? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, oh, this is very nice. For me, you know, I only learned something mm -hmm. from the Buddhism side. Mm -hmm. Sometimes everything is very clearly mm -hmm. from the brain. Mm -hmm but mind will be not accept and the heart will be not accept, you know. Mm -hmm. But scientists show very clearly with the picture, everything detailed sometimes, you know. Mm -hmm. It helped me the how do we involve mm -hmm. in there. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I feel scientists and, you know, Buddhism mm -hmm. is, is help benefit each other benefit. My, my practice. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's why I feel Buddhism is also one scientist. <laughs> And science is also one of the best religion for the, you know, this generation. That's wonderful. Could you tell us a little bit more about what were the activities on ground uh, through the Koryuk movement mm -hmm. that monasteries were conducting? Okay. First in Asia, most of the Asia, most of the Asia, or no, Nepal, in Bhutan, India, Tibet, most of the, our monastery place we have no idea, you know, how do we put a three kind of dustbin. Mm -hmm. I learned first this thing, you know. Mm -hmm. We have to make three dustbin. We have to put different, different, you know, garbage. This is also very wonderful things to help us. Mm -hmm. And second thing, we have no this kind of idea. How do we plan for the vegetable for our own monastery? Now after that workshop we learn how do we plan vegetable for us and how can we use the our the the um, after we, when we have food mm -hmm. how do we use the the waste food waste food for the our farm and our vegetable you know these mm -hmm. kind of things we so learn the so fertilizer and also this day most of the monastery we use the electric from the you know solar electric solar electric so mm -hmm. this kind of things we learn many things mm -hmm. people we wear so many water mm -hmm. now all the monastery they didn't waste the water they make a you know a filter uh -huh. so that's why this is also very wonderful for us mm -hmm. and also now we have it's only in the 70 come up and make a one method, how do we practice the environmental with uh, our religion practice? Mm -hmm. he, he very slowly hunted and ate method mm -hmm. to give us all the monastery. Mm -hmm. And there is the, if I want to be a mm, new, mon new monk, mm -hmm. we have to plan one tree for you. Then you have to take care of that plan to put the water, you know. It's very mm -hmm. nice how do we make a connection with that things. Wonderful. And when my birthday, I have to plan one tree. Oh, wonderful. And also my teacher and my guru, mm -hmm. his body time, we put, you know, many trees. Mm -hmm. Last year we did in the Himachal Pradesh, 108 mm -hmm. uh, tree plan, you know. So mm -hmm. this kind of things yeah. happen, good things. Very wonderful. And also our neighbor mm -hmm. invite us, you know, okay. to give me some mm -hmm. teaching. Only mm -hmm. they didn't uh, focus the teaching, you know. <laughs> when we talk about the environment, yeah. now they love. Okay. So that's why it's good. Yeah. So um, tell us a little bit more about these 108 methods. How, yes. did, how, did, you develop, how did you develop them? Uh, what, was, what was the reason for developing these methods? You know? Yeah, because uh, what I feel, you know, when we talk 
Buddhism and environment, and people feel that you know, this is very pure thing, you know, very more thing, you know. And yeah. they cannot join because oh, we cannot understand because there's lots of things. Mm -hmm. They feel like that. Mm -hmm. But 108 is very small, small things, you know, easy things, mm -hmm. but it is very good for the, your daily practice thing. Mm -hmm. Just example, about the water. Mm -hmm. When you, in India, when we wake up, we use the water mm -hmm. for the, for the toothpaste, you know. Mm -hmm. we, we open water and no stop, you know. Then mm -hmm. we are dripping like this, water is going down. Mm -hmm. So we have to stop. If you need, you have to use. Mm -hmm. If you don't need, close. close. So these kind of things. Mm -hmm. And also about the light, you know, mm -hmm. there's 10 methods about the how do we reduce, how do we save the light. This thing. One small example, when we charge the, our mobile, some we use the mobile, when we finish the charge pool, they didn't take the that things, you know. Mm -hmm. So we have to learn from the 108. Mm -hmm. When you finish, you just stay. Mm -hmm. Don't own, don't put inside there. That's wonderful. So this kind of thing, very nice, yeah. yeah. And for monks, what they have to do. Mm -hmm. For the local people, how mm -hmm. can we use? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this kind of 108, very nice. That's great. So these 108 methods uh, have been translated into many languages now. Yeah. Um, and that is a wonderful way for disseminating some of the work that uh, mm -hmm. your uh, Kori movement has done. Um, tell us a little bit more about how um, monks in their monasteries mm -hmm. Um, are accepting or, you know, how how they are using these methods. Have, have you seen, so you can, if you can give us examples okay. for, uh, from different monasteries where you get, you've seen that people are mm -hmm. changing their behavior. Yeah. Example now, before we have a no idea. Now we have a very simple book, you know. Mm -hmm. So we have a subject mm -hmm. about the, this hundred and eight and different book. Mm -hmm. So every new monks have to go to class and they learn about these things. Oh, wonderful. And not only learn about these things, you know, do reality. Mm -hmm. And also, our monastery have a, we have a special, uh, special we have a teacher, an individual teacher. Mm -hmm. They will check you. Oh, really? Or, train or not, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's why... Lots of monks and nuns improve about these things. Wonderful. People, example, we use the this dress. Some people they use five, six. You know, after that workshop, we only use only three. You know, we right. use again and again and again. Mm -hmm. When we, it become old, we put again. You know, the color mm -hmm. become a new one. So okay. we learn from that. So recycling, yeah, yeah, very nice. What's the future of the Korea movement? What What is the vision um, in the next, in the small term, so mm -hmm. for the next four or five years, and what would you like to see in the next 10, 15 years? Yeah, I have a very big, I, from my side, you know, this is very big uh, success, I feel, because example, when you suddenly start about the Korea, mm -hmm. Then one time he gave a teaching about the better train, how to be a better train, you know? Mm -hmm. So in Tibet, in India, mm -hmm. in Bhutan, lots of our monastery, every monastery, I think, Kaitu Monastery, and also every our whole center, mm -hmm. the Kaitu Linus, one time they all become a better train. So that's why this is very big success I feel. Yeah. And before I was born in my place, I use, you know, small, small kind of thing. But mm -hmm. when I become a monk, after that, when I learn about this thing, mm -hmm. I'm totally changed, you know. Mm -hmm. I love meat, I love animal, but I choose animal, you know. I save the animal. Mm -hmm. So this kind of thing mm -hmm. help. Oh. Yeah. So that's why I think slowly, slowly, more monks and nuns, more our center, mm -hmm. our, you know, l l lay people mm -hmm. interest with the Koyu. Mm -hmm. And also they want to participate more and more. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Maybe I think this is one good method and good way mm -hmm. for the practice mm -hmm. daily your life. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. So you mentioned about the, the lay people, or you know, so you mentioned about the the uh, common people who are not monks. Mm -hmm. How is uh, the Koryuk 
program or choreic movement has really affected the the people outside mon mm. monasteries. Mm. People, you know, they are very busy. Mm -hmm. They have uh, no time to focus on the how to set mm -hmm. the environment things, you know. Mm -hmm. After that, our monastery we make uh, some event mm -hmm. for the our sangha member or lay people mm -hmm. to invite our monastery, mm -hmm. and they can. And we have a, we already preparing for the who has very good knowledge and experience about the environment the things so they will give you that talk mm -hmm. and also workshop mm -hmm. and they will show you to take on the right place you know you look the river it's happened like this 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 is near the, your house it happened like they clear from their eyes mm -hmm. they feel oh now we have to do something otherwise mm -hmm. we cannot set mm -hmm. so those, they feel like that mm -hmm. then after that they do the, their house nicely they keep and slowly sometimes they use the, their neighbor and now amongst and some of our lay people mm -hmm. do together mm -hmm. once a week in our area so every monastery they do like that uh, different different monastery have a different different date example in Sikkim we have a Tuesday mm -hmm. we choose the environment day or cleaning day mm -hmm. so morning all the monks are gathering mm -hmm. they have a bell then our discipline master will be check the name, you know, mm -hmm. we have to come. Okay. And also, who want to employ the lay people, mm -hmm. they also come. Mm -hmm. So we clean everything, you know, and all the rest we segregate, different, different, mm -hmm. different. Wonderful. Then, if there is some uh, problem for the tree, the plant, mm -hmm. we make a set very nicely, mm -hmm. you know. And also, where is the, our man coming water place? Mm -hmm. We have to check and make a save. Mm -hmm. And also, we, now we use lots of our electric. How can we do the solar, solar system? Solar system. So something. Mm -hmm. Where is the broken? Where is the we have to more? We have to fix move, it. Fix it. Mm -hmm. Then after that, all the you know the uh, such creation. After that, we bring that things before we didn't bring. Mm -hmm. We bring our own truck to the government place, you know, where is that they are reduced. Okay. People we didn't we didn't have an idea we didn't do. Now we do wonderful this kind of things. Mm -hmm. And we have a Buddhism special event. Mm -hmm. Just like a Buddha Shajamuni birthday mm -hmm. and Buddha Shajamuni enlightenment day mm -hmm. and his first uh, teaching day mm -hmm. and his Nirvana day. Mm -hmm. And also our His Holiness Dalai Lama, mm -hmm. His Holiness come up as a birthday time. Mm -hmm. We plan all the monks and lay people gathering. We plan the tree. Mm -hmm. yeah, we do like that. Yeah. Wonderful. Tell us a little bit about uh, the challenges of of uh, of Koryuk movement. What were the what were the difficulties the Koryuk? for Koryuk? I don't know in here, you know. In India, when I was in there, it's very difficult about the plastic things. Mm -hmm. When we use uh, segregation, you know, mm -hmm. so we know something, how do we use? It's easy in there. Mm -hmm. The plastic things, you know, mm -hmm. where we have to give. Mm -hmm. Because in the Himalaya side, it's very difficult, you know, every side. Mm -hmm. They didn't accept these things, you know, and mm -hmm. it's very difficult for us. We clean, we put our monastery. Now, one room full. <laughs> How do we use these things, you know? Mm -hmm. Some, some, uh, you know, foreign people, just American people, our students come to there, they teach us how to make a flower, you know? <laughs> yeah. Small, small thing is very useful things. Yeah. But we have uh, lots of these kind of things, mm -hmm. and we have uh, no idea how do we use mm -hmm. these kind of things. Mm -hmm. So that is really big problem. Mm -hmm. And also in Himalaya, is, it's like that, yeah? Mm -hmm. When it's raining, Mm -hmm. And the plastic will be go to the some water place and mm -hmm. it's become a jump, then it's difficult for the, our you know town and village. It's a mm -hmm. problem. Mm -hmm. So we try to save the plastic, but the plastic more more than where we keep you know. Right. And that's right. The very problem us. Important problem. Yeah. Um, so, what will be the trainings that you will? in the next phase of, let's say, Koryuk program? 
what kind of trainings do you think will be important for? Uh, for me, you know, the core you is environmental is not we feel that is outside. Mm -hmm. We call environment world, but this is inner world, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's a, if you do every day mm -hmm. practice with environmental mm -hmm. every day, you know. Mm -hmm. So it is really benefit for myself, you know, ourselves. Right. Then slowly, slowly, if for you, many, you know, environmental uh, association become a link each other, mm -hmm. then we can learn so many ideas from the different mm -hmm. uh, countries, uh, environmental mm -hmm. association. Mm -hmm. Then we learn so many things and we can get lots of ideas how to, we, you know, mm -hmm manage that things. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Yeah. yeah. So when you, when you have about 50 plus monasteries, how many monks do you think are, monks and nuns are, are you really working with in the, in the Kori movement? When we do the workshop, they only come four or five. Mm -hmm. When they back to the, their own monastery, mm -hmm. they have to give up, send that workshop, what they learn to the share, their own monastery. Mm -hmm. If there's a, 800 monks or none, they have to share them. If there's only 50 something monks or none, they have to share what they learn from them. Great. But in the monastery, not like that, we have uh, our monastery's, uh, you know, society. Mm -hmm. And they have uh, one small Koryuk you know, society, and there's the in charge. Mm -hmm. They will lead you, and we have to do, no choice, you know. Okay. Because it is good for, mm -hmm our own self, you know, and also good for the monastery and good for our practice. Mm -hmm. So that's why most of the monks and nuns, they're involved. They're involved. Yeah, wonderful. they have no any challenge. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. Well, this is such a wonderful um, initiative, and I, you know, Thank you. congratulate you. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Namaskar.